Zombie Chronicles was the greatest DLC in the history of Call of Duty. I feel like a lot of people would agree with that, even if you're not a zombie fan. The sheer amount of just content. Eight maps in total, remastered, reimagined, with brand new graphics, systems, weapons, and a fully fledged easter egg. But which one was the best? Most people would say Origins was their favorite map, the one that they liked the most for the remaster. But most people would also agree that the BO3 version of Origins just simply isn't as good as the BO2. And if they think it's better, it's minuscule at best. But what map actually fundamentally changed where maybe some people didn't like it in BO1, but in Black Ops 3, it was exponentially better. The World at War maps, although simplistic, only got added basically just a wonder fizz, and it felt, you know, the same. Ascension had, yeah, a couple great changes. The monkeys are a better system, but without PhD, that map feels incomplete. Shangri-La is beautiful, and yes, the Eclipse looks amazing in that map, but the Easter egg is still tedious. You still have to do it with four players, and not just that, but Shangri-La just kind of sucks, and without PhD on that map as well, it's really not that fun to play unless you get a baby gun. But Moon, on BO1, that map was gray, glitchy, but on Black Ops 3, this is the greatest remastered zombies map in the history of Call of Duty. Moon BO3 takes the original Moon from a B tier map to, in my opinion, an S tier. Let's start on the map visually. I mean, you look at Black Ops 1 Moon. That shit is gray. Area 51 is bland and beige. You go to the air, you go to the actual Moon itself, and it's gray. It's dull. It's got no sound. You go into the biodome, and yeah, there's a little bit of green, but it's still gray. You go into different areas, it looks bleak. The entire map looks whitewashed the whole time. It's like Michael Jackson in the late 2000s. It's really bad in the early version of Moon. I think it is the worst looking map in Black Ops 1, except Ascension. But you go to the BO3 Master, and oh my fucking god. Let's just start at Area 51. Magnificent, beautiful. The hangars look better, the teleportation looks better, the whole system pack punch looks better. But once you get to the moon itself, that's where it really shines. Space is nice and a dark black while the earth is nice and bright. You go into the biodome, it's so green, and the pyramid room looks incredible. The purple tunnels look amazing. The excavators look absolutely beautiful. The outside and the light of the perk machines bright up the whole area around it. It's absolutely stunning. Moon is incredible looking in bo3 and it is underrated as fuck i think it is the best looking map on bo3 i think it's absolutely stunning and this is the best remaster in terms of looks in my opinion a lot of people love shangri-la's looks but i think moon's before and after is just sheer perfection but visuals are great but a map is only so good by its gameplay now why does moon thrive well i think moon thrives really well in the gobblegum system Things like Anywhere But Here, to be able to combat the excavator systems. Other things that happen into the map. The ability to get more perks, which I feel like on Moon, that is a very crucial thing. I think it's hard to survive with more perks on that map. Immolation helping you with Easter egg steps, grabbing that wave gun, that QED, that Gersh device. The ability to do the Easter egg with two players, not four, like all the other maps in BO1, like Shangri-La and like Ascension. Moon is absolutely amazing in that feature, and I feel like the Gobblegum system really helps Moon more than any other map in the remaster. They have balanced the tediousness of some features of the map, like the teleporting Novice crawlers, the, like I said, the uh, excavators, the astronaut, with this Gobblegum system, and it's done very well. And perks feel meaningful, and Gobblegums feel meaningful. Things like stamina up help in that anti-gravity, when the zombies' movements are unpredictable. The teleporting Nova 6 crawlers, in plain sight, is so perfect for situations like that. Moon thrives on those things. And let's get to the Easter egg. First off, that ending of the Easter egg. Oh my goodness, that was rockets look absolutely stunning. Love the way that looks. But the Easter egg isn't as annoying in BO3. Yes, there are times where you get super unlucky with a box, and it's like, damn! can't do nothing with this but there's other times where it looks great i mean the easter egg itself right the original map you had to get the gersh device twice get the qeds get the wave gun this map you know you can do it in different orders so it's not you know as 
you don't have to get the Gerst devices twice, basically. And the ability for Immolation Liquidation to get the different devices makes it really good. I think that's what makes it great. The gameplay, the Easter egg is okay. And the Samantha says makes it easier because of the Gobble Gums you can use. Whether it's Megas or Classics, the Gobble Gums system really fits Moon perfectly. And if you look at visual, gameplay, or Gobble Gums, Moon is the best map in the Zombie Chronicles remaster pack. In my opinion, it is the greatest remaster in Zombies history, Black Ops 3 Moon, and takes it from a top 15, top 20 map to a top 5 map. Now, I know that's controversial, but Black Ops 3 Moon is my fifth favorite map of all time. And it's simply because of the incredible changes that Jason Blundell made in Black Ops 3. And if you disagree, then you suck my fu- That fuck him up. Wah, 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 wah. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.